today our amazing guests are Jazz and Trina. Yes. Hey. Hello. Thanks hey. for coming Hi. through, you guys. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah. Finally. You look fantastic. Oh, thank way, you. I Gosh, I was trying. I feel that too sad to go out. Thank you. No, you look thank lovely. You. Yeah, thank I know. So finally. Much. We're yeah, finally. Man. We've mm. talked about this for a long, <laughs> a long time. Oh, yeah. Do you want to tell the people that might MIS. not know what <laughs> MIS is a little bit? Uh, well, Intro uh, it. MIS is a boutique uh, production house. Mm. Um, our passion is music. Everything music centric, music focused, artists. But we dabble in the um, advertising and production world mm. quite a bit as well. There's a lot of money there. <laughs> there is. It supports the you music know, it thing. Supports, and yeah, it balances and that out. Our, our, our passion is the music and obviously Teo is one of our first artists when we Shout started out, out, you know, started out <laughs> Karoon, yeah. Karoon's record, you know, and several others, Fena for yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, um, and so for us, what we're trying to do is, is put the whole production team behind artists, musicians who we feel can go that extra mile put kenya on the map you know when was mis born this was has to be right after the ladybug project okay which is With a Karun. yeah Karun's project Karun's and it was um it was literally just a, a team of creatives we had um magic lens on board yeah. who were fantastic photography photography film you know and there was us guys on the music side music and live performances events and that whole thing and we said listen we should we should do this put this muscle this team behind artists who we feel can go that 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 far cool you know? and that's why it started that's how it started so this was 2013 end of 2013 like how has this connection come <laughs> from that journey and that progress well <laughs> i guess you know for me and you you know this i'm yeah. As a producer and engineer, that's that's my passion. That's what, yeah. what I enjoy doing. But yeah. I still make my own music yeah. for myself. And you know, everyone's just been like, you know, maybe you should release some of it. You know, yeah. and working with Electric DJs actually on on all of their releases. Yeah, got into the whole Afro house thing. I was like, yeah, this this this. I could do this. I could do this. There's something shifting right now in the music scene in Nairobi, yeah. and it feels like everybody's trying to figure out exactly what it is. Definitely. But mostly, it's just like when you're releasing music that mm. you actually do feel like is for yourself. Mm. Yeah. We're almost still in this phase where we're surprised, like, oh, it's successful, even yeah. if I'm not trying to make a radio hit. Just yeah. genuine so music true. is That's actually so, so, getting so true. viewership. Yeah, I really agree with that. I think like we're in a in a space where we're trying to like break out and discover where we fit in and whatnot. Yeah. So even like you're saying the things that we create, you know, they are actually successful. Like when we did the song with jazz, immediately it was done, I was like, Oh my goodness, we have to we have to take it to the next level. We have to, <laughs> what do we do? We have to take Let's this music. Can I use it as a single? What not? So yeah. yeah. And you know, what, you know, speaking about that track, mm. uh, Pale Pale, which yeah. is a huge, huge house tune. I'm a house head. Whoop, whoop. And I love the way you delivered on that track. You are the the production head. was on point. Don't. The songwriting was on point. And I was like, Thank who is this you. Trina? Where is she? And um, yeah. when I realized you're coming through, man, I was excited. Oh, Let me so just great job, man. Trina is actually one of the back and vocalist on coke studio last season and this Sweet. coming season as well so she's yeah. she's Lovely kind of voice. going big you know? fantastic thank you i'm trying i'm trying <laughs> so how was it her. sorry i was gonna say were mm. you doing bgvs for tayo also at some yes, point yes yes i was okay. i did i filled in for a friend of mine yeah and getting to work with him was really cool i really really like him as an artist so yeah i do hope that we can get to do some things in the future as well yeah. i think um when you approach your music career creatively yeah. and with a goal then you can get there very easily. So for me, I decided to use BGVing as my way to kind of just make my way through the market yeah. and then finally find a way to just like do make my break yeah. and do my own thing. Yeah. So we're even having a concert at uh, end of this month, nice. the 27th of, cool. yeah. At Where? Michael Joseph Tell Center. Us details yes, so please know. come. It's called Music My World Volume Two. Awesome. Um, it's gonna be at Michael Joseph Center on okay. the 27th. Right. Charges are 800 advance, okay. and at the gate at 1200. So it's gonna be great. Super cool. Yes. We'll be there. Please, please For do come. Sure. Please come. So it's, it's really fantastic working with some of the younger artists who kind of coming into the industry with a fresh look at things. For many of us, we know like the industry is, is really just a sector, not yeah. an industry. It's a sector. But it, it, it is becoming that and building onto that, you know? Yeah. And, you know, if you're passionate about it, I think that's the, that's the whole point. You can actually make a living from it. You can actually... For sure. I mean, look what's good live as well. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Things which never used to happen before and and you know people logging on and watching shows like this so mm. that's why we do what we do yeah. my thing is live music for sure but there's a whole bunch of people who will experience your music in a club or will listen to a whole edm album which i i'm only beginning to be able to do you know um it's just been fun being a musician 
I think, and appreciating many of the, many a times the DJs who can't play music but have such a musical mind and know what they want to hear and what they want yeah. you want to play and know what the crowd would want to exactly. hear as well. Exactly. And I think for you know house music and the fact that you know house music is an international standard. You can play a track pale pale. You can play it in Europe together with yeah. another sure. track. So yeah. Yeah. It's all about standardization. Yeah. And that's the feedback we got. I mean, yeah. played for, you know, some of my friends in the UK were all like, dude, you know, this vibe is kind of kicking here yeah. as well. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. It's yeah. a vibe, yeah. <laughs> you know? There is definitely something that's going on as well with the crossover between mm. electronic music and live yeah. music. Like, yeah. Yeah. more and more, there's yeah. like a, a you know, it's, I'm you know, true. in an age where we have to kind of always be moving with the times, whether yeah. it's, you know, with technology, with what, where this? <laughs> <laughs> Just blasting you yeah. subtly, like in the background, just like there's gonna be one of this you, is just like in your bed sheets. Or yeah. You know, where you kind of have to keep changing the times. Yeah. Um, just one thing I learned growing up is that, as a musician, you need to learn how to play music first, mm. yes. and then you can, you can kind of choose where you want to go. But it, it's fun to do that because production-wise, I'm able to kind of do whatever I want to yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. I'm not closed into being a hip hop producer. Yeah. I wouldn't call myself an EDM mm-hmm. producer, yeah. you know, any of that. I'm, I'm 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 getting to the point where I want to release some of my own music and my obviously I do a lot of writing myself, but I want to get a lot of other artists on it. Mm. But just doing this with Trina, she's like, listen, there's all this other stuff she wants to do. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll be great to work together as well. And I'm kind of at the point where I'm, I'm really happy to have other producers come in, other mm-hmm. people have input into the mm-hmm. to the stuff that's coming out because there's just a, you know, a much bigger plan for everything. Mm. So continuing to build yeah. that yes. ecosystem that yes. is We should get you on a track as well. I'm there. Let's do that. You know, <laughs> the new Nairobi. I'm all about this yeah, collaboration yeah. thing. <laughs> listen, thank you guys so so much for coming through Aww. the studio today. It's been brilliant. We'll yeah. definitely be there on the 27th. People, yes, the 27th. Yeah. Yes, Make please. Sure. I have tickets Make in my sure. bag. If you, <laughs> if you have money now, we them online. we're ready. We're ready. <laughs> yeah. And meanwhile, yeah, we'll you. be we'll be playing your tracks, and we'll be looking forward to thank more. You. So thank you guys so much for coming.